Hello there. Um, I just wanted to do um, this one right now while I have a kind of a quiet moment at work um, because some of my videos um, throughout the years that have been in, on YouTube um, have disappeared, you know, and um, although probably you know why they have disappeared, I just wanted to address it because recently one of them, one of was kind of unexpected uh, to be taken down was indeed taken down. So I wanted to address um, the reasons why that, that happened. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Camel playing at the uh, Villa Marta theater in Jerez. Um, as you know, my this channel, I have another channel which is the um, what, what I call the Google channel and I call this one the, the Hotmail. Uh, this one I don't usually appear much on on screen. Uh, it tends to be this one a kind of a mismatch of you know my own music and some interviews I've posted in the past, and also lately it has become more than anything a kind of um, concert uh, videos. You know, I, I like I really enjoy concerts. Um, I enjoy. You know watching them with my eyes but I try as much as I can to take advantage of this thing that I'm holding right now in my in my hand which is the iPhone which records great video you know great video and great audio obviously not as good as um, a professional team of cameramen and cameramen and uh, you know big lenses and everything but if you are first row as I have been or second row as I have been in a couple of shows, it really, 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 you know, you come up with some great stuff and it's great. And obviously now with the 60 FPS um, uh, thing is so much better than in the past, you know. I could, also, I could even film in 4K, but, um, you know, what's what's the point of 4K or whatever, you know, how, how, I don't really remember how to say uh, 4 4K? 4K? Anyway, Ultra HD resolution. And um, to be honest with you, I, I don't really want to spend that much of of the iPhone's memory, although it's it's well off. I don't really want to, to spend that much on it. Anyway, so lately I've been sort of um, doing this, this kind of thing, which I film maybe one minute of each song, or maybe... Um, you know, two minutes or something. A friend of mine, she always says that she can't do that. She either film the whole thing or, or nothing at all. But I like to film bits of it, much to the uh, to the dismay of one Elton John fan, um, uh, who would have loved for me to to film the whole Elton John show. And then I watched, I took a look at his YouTube channel and everything he's got. It's Elton John full shows, which you know, explains why he was so pissed off at the fact that I have done uh, only a 20 minute thing. But anyway, I digress. Um, what I wanted to say is that you have probably noticed that some of my videos disappear. Um, there is a reason why for that. Um, you know, Stephen Wilson, for instance, uh, made very clear uh, in his Barcelona show a few years ago that he didn't want us to film anything, you know, and, um, and he's like, you know, okay, but one way or the other, bits and pieces of, of his shows had been appearing on YouTube, and, uh, you know, even some of his uh, official DVDs had been uploaded to YouTube and everything, so it was a bit like, you know, okay, I'm going to upload it, and then... Um, you know, like a month later, actually it was like a couple of weeks later, it was taken down because of you know, copyright um, thing and, um, you know, uh, Procopane Tree Management made the, um, made the claim. And, um, and, you know, what are you going to say? What, what, what are you going to do? Um, 
so I say, well, okay, fine. I'm not going to to fight this. You know, have been there have been worse moments in YouTube when actually I will upload a video with my music and someone would say, no, it's you've taken that music from someone. I said, no, actually, I own this music because I wrote it. But you know, in this case, it was like, well, okay, fine. You know, if he wants to take down the video, the thing is that sometimes you get to these stupid moments like. Um, I remember Sylvia Wilson's official uh, Twitter uh, account or profile. Uh, they once shared uh, a live video of Routine of the Arbor Hall, and uh, he shared that link on his Twitter account. And a couple of weeks later, you try to see that video again through the Twitter, and it will lead you to that message of you cannot see this video anymore because of a copyright claim from Porcupine Tree Management and it's like or Porcupine Tree Inc or whatever and it's like really you know so um, anyway so I, I could see that coming in the same way um, David Gilmore I went to see David Gilmore with a few friends uh, Nima south of France wonderful show one of the best shows I ever seen and I knew right away that um, you know David Gilmour especially is very hands-on these things like he doesn't want people to to upload um, any of his stuff uh, on YouTube and uh, he either you know or his management or whoever you know, is in charge of these things either they take it down or they mute the sound you know and um, this was on the Rattle That Lock tour so I knew, I knew I could not upload that to YouTube. What I did was to, um, to upload it to my own Facebook uh, profile. And then, um, almost like a year later, I got a message from Facebook saying, you have, you have uploaded, uploaded this, this and uh, we have had a copyright claim. And, uh, you know, you, you risk of losing your Facebook uh, account. Um, if you keep doing things like this so you know fair enough well not really fair enough I, I feel a bit uh, you know there's a bit of intrusion in my own privacy you know and, um, it's stupid really if you're on Facebook to, to care about your privacy but it did feel like yeah you know man this was just to share with my friends with the friends I went with and to share with the friends that uh, also like Pink Floyd so anyway, and uh, the last one was, uh, as I've said, Camel, and you know we had it was such a great show. I was not supposed to go, but a friend of mine had one ticket spare, and um, you know she said, "Do you have, do you know anyone that would like to go to Camel?" I said, "Well, actually, I know somebody," and it was second row tickets. It's like you know, how are you going to say no? And obviously, I, I, I took the phone with me. And, uh, you know, I kind of filmed like 20 minutes of, of the show and it looked great. And actually a national newspaper, um, when, they pray, when they played Madrid, instead of, using, of, instead of sending a professional photographer uh, to take pictures of the show, what they did was to take, um, you know, one picture of my video and uh, you know and use it for for the review and then at the end of the news at the end of the of the column at the end of the review you had a link to my video it was like hey you know. well obviously I, I would have preferred I will have sent a professional photographer to to cover to do the covering to, to do the coverage of the of, of the show but there you go and then obviously now you try to click on that link and it says it's not longer available because of a copyright claim and it's like you know it's it's weird because you know and Latimer is such a nice bloke but I can see why because that same tour that Mood Madness uh, tour was has been later filmed at the uh, Royal Albert Hall and I guess they don't want any footage um, to compete with the uh, with what is supposed to be uh, the the forth forthcoming great release or whatever, who knows what's the what's the reasoning behind this thing? Anyway, so that's why 
I want to I wanted to address all these things. You know, if you wonder why some of my concert shows suddenly disappear without a trace, um, that's why. So. Um, that's the thing. Uh, however, I have to say, uh, some videos, some interview videos, like the one with Nick Barrett and the ones um, with Gavin Harrison, for instance, will be taken down. So I'm just warning you, because I'm going to put together a book with some, of, well, with all my interviews actually, and um, I'm sure you will f be able to find, um, you know most of them. Uh, the book is going to be published in Spanish. Uh, you may wonder why then to that. Well, you know, the editor has asked for it anyway. So uh, there you go. So um, if you want to keep these interviews, just run for them. And, um, and that's about it really, you know. Um, just wanted to do this this kind of update of what's been going on so thanks for watching that's all for now and do I have to say uh, like and subscribe hopefully not. see you around